in communities that had wind farms, those people that were receiving wind farm income were more likely to say that they were going to pass their farm on to a child or that they had developed a succession plan and they knew who they were going to pass their farm on to in comparison to the other places where they said that either they didn't have a succession plan in place or um, the mo more likely outcome was that they were going to just sell their land to a neighboring farmer. Um, we see that a lot in agriculture, so farms get bigger and bigger. Um, what that means is that farming communities, the, the towns that support them, get smaller and smaller. And so you see rural schools closing or consolidating. And I've seen a lot of um, new farm equipment. I've seen a lot of new buildings being constructed. Um, so I think there's additional revenue that those folks have that they're able to do the extra to, to help them be more successful at at the industry that they're in. Through the survey, I was also ask, able to ask people um, how much they were investing in different aspects of their farming operation over the previous five years. So I asked about their home and drainage and irrigation, um, their outbuildings and equipment. And what I found was that people with wind turbines on their property were investing twice as much in all of those categories than people without wind turbines on their property. And I've also, the other thing that, that I find intriguing about the, the, uh, the setup in the area that we're in with farming is the long trails that go out to the, the turbines off the roads. Those, the farm equipment sets up, the trucks set up on those roads now instead of the main roads. But we also have found that the driveways are just gigantic benefits. When a man is combining corn, he sets that truck right on that nice driveway. He doesn't need to set it out in the field and then take a tractor to give him a pull to get it started or twist his axles or whatever else. It just, they've just worked wonderfully well for harvesting. So it actually, is, it's quite a bit safer than it used to be during the harvest times. Um, those big trucks can pull off the road into the turbine road and they, they pull their tractors right up and load and unload. So I, I, I like that. It's kind of a, a neat thing that I noticed because I've been here my whole life. I have evidence that in these farming communities, um, a younger generation of farmers is staying on the farm. Now, why would a younger generation of farmers be staying on the farm? How does a wind turbine help that? What I've heard is that this is a way for them to diversify their farm income. So younger farmers see this as not such a risky business. They know that they're going to have a guaranteed revenue stream for the next 20 years um, that's drought proof. Um, and so they see this as an opportunity.